Andrew Tucker and welcome to Andrew Tucker World. What's going on all my great people? What's going on all my boxing fans? It's going to be a very short video, real quick video. Listen, Jamal Charlo versus Sergey Devrinchenko. It's going to be a war. It's going to be a good fight. It's going to be a good fight. It's going to be a war. Sergey Devrinchenko is he's more like a he's somewhat of a boxer puncher. You know, he can punch, he can box a little bit, but he's more of a aggressive brawler. You know, he likes to come forward, throws a lot of punches, like to fight on the inside, come forward, you know, uh, like to fight on the inside, more of a brawler, like to walk you down type fighter. He likes to walk you down. He's an aggressive brawler, somewhat of a boxer puncher. But listen, the guy can fight. You know, uh I can say the fights that I love I loved when it came to Sergey Devrinchenko was uh, Daniel Jacobs. That was a close fight. Daniel Jacobs won the fight, but that was a close fight. It was a war. Sergey Devrinchenko, in my eyes, he beat Gennady Golovkin. I love Triple G, but Triple G lost to Sergey Devrinchenko. I had to fight 7-5 for Sergey Devrinchenko. It was a war. It was a close fight. Man, it was one of the best fights I ever saw. Like, keeping it real, it was a war. You know, Sergey Devrinchenko most definitely, in my eyes, beat Gennady Golovkin. I love Golovkin, but I'm keeping it real. Sergey Devrinchenko beat him. You know, I had a 7-5, uh, 7-5 for Sergey Devrinchenko. You know, so like I said, it was a good fight. It was a war. But Sergey Devrinchenko, Devrinchenko, he beat Gennady Golovkin. You know, but listen, I'm just keeping it real. That guy is a problem. That guy comes to fight, throws a lot of punches, very aggressive, a dominant, very dominant fighter. You know what I'm saying? Very dominant, throws a lot of punches, can box a little bit. He's a brawler, comes forward, aggressive, throws a lot of punches. You know, inside fighter. Likes to bang, he likes to bang it out on the inside. You know, but I'm going to keep it real. I see Jamal Charlo in, in I see... Jamal Charlo beating. I'm just being real. He's more of the better boxer with punching power. I'm just keeping it real. He's more of the better boxer. I'm just keeping it real. You know, I'm not being biased or none of that. I'm keeping it real. You know what I mean? I'm just keeping it real. I could be wrong. And if I'm wrong, y'all can come after me. Come after me and tell me in the comment section after the fight, when the fight is over. That I was wrong, Andrew, you don't know what you're talking about, whatever y'all do, what y'all want to do. But I'm going to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? I see Jamal Charlo, style make fights. Style make fights, and I believe it's going to be a war while it lasts. It's going to be a war. It's going to be a very entertaining fight. Style make fights. These two styles, coll these two styles colliding... You know, clashing. You know, I just feel that it's going to be a war. But I feel the better boxer, which is Jamal Charlo, is going to win. I also see Sergey Devrinchenko being stopped for the first time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I could be wrong. You know, some people may feel like it's going to be a big upset on September the 26th. That it's going to be an upset. I don't have no... Listen, that's your opinion. That's what you see. That's how you feel. I have nothing against that. I have nothing against how you feel and what you see and what's your opinion. I don't have no problem with your opinion. But to be real with you, keep it real with you, I don't see no upset. I see because I know Jamal Charlo is the favorite going into the fight. You know, it's going to be somewhat, you know, neck and neck. I don't know. But anyways, I see Jamal Charlo late round stoppage. I see him stopping I see it. I'm sorry, guys. I see Jamal Charlo stopping Devrin, Sergey Devrinchenko, maybe like night, maybe like round nine or ten. I, I can't say eight. Maybe the eighth round. Maybe the ninth. I say probably maybe the ninth round uh, or the tenth round. Late round stoppage for Jamal Charlo. That's what I see. That's what I see. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I could be wrong. The fight can go twelve. And if it's a close fight, Devin Chico, Sergio Devin Chico, in our eyes, in a lot of people's eyes, a lot of people was observing and watching the fight. If he clearly beat uh, Jamal Charlo and they rob him, well, this ain't the first time. We know how it is in, in the sport of boxing. We know how corrupt it can be in the sport of boxing. We know how messed up it can when it comes to certain situations, you know, when it comes to the sport of boxing. You know what I'm saying? So we know... The sport is somewhat dirty and, you know, the judges and 
you know, and the people behind, that's, that's, that pretty much over the sport, you know, uh, yeah, you know, so we know how I can, we, we know how that, we know how it can be. Fighters get robbed all the time. So I feel if Sergio Devrachico clearly beats Jamal Chalo, you know, that he get, he get, he get what he deserves. He get what he deserves. He become champion, you know, and, you know, he go on to be continue to he continuously go on to be great, but at the end of the day, I don't see him beating Jamal Charlo. Like I said, I could be wrong, but I just I'm gonna just be real. I see Jamal Charlo stopping him in the late late round stoppage, late the late rounds, late round stoppage. I see him stopping him. Like I said, I could be wrong, but I see Jamal Charlo stopping Sergey Devranchenko. Maybe like the ninth or the tenth round or something like that. I can I can kind of see, you know, uh, Sergio Devrachinko fading, you know, in the later rounds. I can see him fading, you know, Jamal Charlo just being a smarter fighter, outboxing him, breaking him down, and then he then in like ninth or right the ninth tenth round or something like that. He, Jamal Chalo comes on strong, boom, start landing bombs and outboxing him, hit him with one good shot, hurt him, and then just finish him. Maybe TKO or KO. But I can see him stopping, you know, Sergey Devrinchenko. But I could be wrong. I mean, some people may feel that Sergey Devrinchenko Devin, Serge may ups, might pull off the upset. You know, I have no problem with that. I, you know, it could, it's possible. It could happen. But I don't see it happening. I say Jamal Chalo is going to stop Sergey Devrinchenko, and I like Sergey Devrinchenko. Much love and respect to Jamal Chalo. Much love and respect to Sergey Devrinchenko. They are both uh, good fighters, and I feel like Jamal Chalo is going to stop him. I see it. I can see it, but I could be wrong. Andrew Tucker, Andrew Tucker World. Live streams are coming soon. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Comment who wins, who you got winning. Do you guys agree with me? Uh, you disagree. It's all good. But make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when a new video is released. And live stream coming soon. You know, I just got to find some time, y'all. But y'all be patient. But anyways, Andrew Tucker, Andrew Tucker World, I'm out. Much love and respect.